I hope you guys like this vid, and here's the completed Katniss Everdeen figure. Ta-da! Let me just start from um, what inspired me to make Katniss Everdeen. So I was craft shopping because I love putting accessories on my money figures, and I came across this little thing. This was actually from a bracelet, and I had to like use some, um, I'm bad with naming tools, but pliers or whatever, and I just had to like break it off. But yeah, I broke it off, and um, I stuck it on her chest. So uh, yeah, this isn't like the um, Mockingjay from the movie, but it's a dove actually, but it just reminded me of that. So I was like, hey, you know what? I can use this to like make Katniss Everdeen. So I did. With her face though, I noticed it came off looking a bit like a hybrid version of um, Jennifer Lawrence and Angelina Jolie, but hey, I always thought Jennifer Lawrence can be Lawrence. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence can be um, Lara Croft if they're gonna make like another Tomb Raider movie. But anywho, Yes, that is her face. Um, I use acrylic paint because um, before I would use those deco, her, <coughs> excuse me, deco art markers, and I'm not gonna use that anymore because it tends to leak and it smudges off. Even though like you feel like it's secure, and if you um, spray like fixative on it, it still manages to smudge. So, yep, I just use acrylic paint for the outfit. Um, it's pretty simple. It's just like black and green. I didn't want to, you know, make a carbon copy from the movie, but I still took some inspiration from the movie, so I just made her wear black and um, green, since, you know, Candace's favorite color is green. And, um, it looked too plain, so I decided to put, like, some, I guess, detail on it by putting, like, you know, I couldn't, like, put a zipper on the little piece of leather there, so I just, like, used um, a cloth marker and gold and create an illusion of zippers. Also in the back too, because they wanted the, the color to just bounce out throughout the whole thing. Um, but what else can I talk about? Oh, the hair was really, 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 really hard to do. It's not, um, I forgot, I don't know what the technique is called. Uh, like scalping. It's not, not, I'm not sure that, I'm sure that's not what it's called, but um, it's this. Oh, but um, you know, like the like dolls with like holes in their heads. I forgot what that's called. Um, but yeah, I, I, I might like try to do that for my next money with hair, but on um, this one I just glued it on. So yeah, um, braiding it was a B word. Um, yeah, it just it was too, it was really slippery, but I managed. So yep, and I just super glued the tip, so um, that won't go anywhere. And yeah, for the hair, you don't really want to mess with it. Um, I had to use a lot of hairspray, a lot, a lot of hairspray, um, just to, you know, have the shape down. And also because um, since I glued the hair on the head uh, and I used a lot of um, super glue, it tends to frost up. Um, it, like, it turns like whitish. I don't know how to explain it. It just looks really frosty. Like think of like, um, like a car window on a really snowy day. And it's, yeah, it's, it's frosty. So I had to use a lot of hairspray to, just to um, get that in control. But overall, I'm like, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, originally, I wanted her to have a bow and arrow because, I mean, I, again, I love putting accessories on my money figures, but there was no way in hell that she could hold a bow because the arms are pretty, you know, they're pretty, like, tight around, like, the sides. Sinabi. But yeah, that's Katniss Everdeen for ya. Um, so I'm gonna be posting pictures of this on my Tumblr, so you can guys go, the, the, you guys can check that out in the description. Um, and I'll be making more money figures, and also have some concept art stuff like ahead, more Smite stuff too. Um, so that's it. Um, I hope you guys like this vid. Have a good day, afternoon, or whatever time you're watching this. À la prochaine fois. Peace out.